Welcome back to Academy. In this episode, we're talking about multiplication using multiples of 10. Um, and this is an important piece to understand because if you can break numbers apart into multiples of 10 to multiply out, then you can easily get um, uh, operations such as partial product, which is another way to multiply. So uh, when you are working with problems such as like how much do four 650 pound polar bears weigh, I'm already starting to think in multiples of 10. So let's just start with the basics. Um, if I start off with like thinking 34s, like 34s, I know 3 times 4 is 12. And whenever you see those zeros, that's that multiple of 10 that you're working with. And you just slap that zero on the end of the answer. So 34s would give me that 12, but then I'd slide that zero in there. Same thing with like if I took 30 40s, notice the only difference is that we're taking these two zeros. Well, keep your 12, but then slap your two zeros on the bottom. And then finally, 3400s, holy cow, we're getting big numbers. Same thing, do the 12, don't forget to add those zeros. And this is going to help you when you're breaking apart numbers using partial product. So let's see. Let's. I'm gonna just let you press pause. Um, give these problems a try, and you know, check your work with an adult. See uh, how you did. I'm assuming that you press play again. So let's go on to another kind of problem where we came back from that. How much do four 650 pound polar bears weigh? Well, if I'm thinking in partial products, I can take that 650. And I'm taking four of them, so I'm going to multiply by four, and I know many of you are familiar with traditional multiplication, and you can just go bam, 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 and get the answer down the bottom of one line here. Well, that's fine. That'll give you an answer, but to truly understand the value of the numbers, let's break this apart. Would you agree if you took four 600-pound polar bears, and you also took four 50-pound polar bears. Notice I'm just breaking up that 650 into 650. So if I took four 600-pound bears and four 50-pound bears, would you agree that that would be the same as taking four 650-pound polar bears? So this is where partial product is really going to help you break things apart. There's that four, there's a six. I'm thinking to myself, four times six gives me 24. And remember those zeros. When I'm multiplying with multiples of 10, I just slide those zeros right in the answer. Same thing here. Four times five will give me that 20. Now check this out. That zero here came from multiplying four and five. Didn't come from sliding a zero, but I do have a zero here that I'm gonna slide right in. Okay. So then I'm going to add these two together to give me 2,600. Using those multiple of tens is going to be so helpful to help you out with partial product. So give this one a go. How much do three, holy cow, these are big, big, big walruses. 2,200 pound walruses weigh. Think about what you just saw and uh, press pause and see how you do. So good luck. 